Good morning. Welcome to Windy Hill. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, we've been up for uh, just a little while getting things squared away for the day. Uh, Got to get some chores done. Uh, water, water, give water to some chickens, give feed to some chickens, uh, let chickens out, uh, get things kind of squared away. Uh, then we're going to talk about uh, the Cornish Cross and the Freedom Rangers. Uh, and the differences between the two uh, and why I chose the Freedom Rangers over the Corn and Cross, uh, Cor Cornish Cross. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, let's get started with the chores. Uh, by then it'll be daylight and we can actually see what we're doing. So until then, I uh, will see you in a minute. Well, all the chores are done. So today these guys are 10 days old. Uh, they, I don't know if you can tell from the last video if you watched, they have grown quite a bit in 10 days. The wings are starting to feather out a little bit. They're very active. Uh, just super healthy looking chicks. Uh, they won't last long at all in this brooder. Uh, they'll be ready to uh, to get out of here so I'm gonna have to do some prep work ASAP to get their other quarters ready for them to, to be out uh, and about they're very active uh, the the uh, Cornish cross uh, not so active most of them uh, I, I wish I had gotten some to raise alongside these so you could see the difference between the two the activity versus just sitting in front of the feed and eating. Uh, so big difference in the two. Uh, but let me get uh, let me get going here. I've got some cage cleaning to do and then we'll get well, we have some still in the chicken house. We have some already hard at work. And one not very happy I'm in here. We have a few over here in the yard. We have some here in the trees and the nice cool shade. They're very social and they have little social groups, kind of like kind of like people in a way. They uh, they group together. You may have 10 or 20 in a group, or you may have two or three that just hang out together. But, uh, very social. These are the new girls on the block. They are just not quite old enough to be out with the others. Well, there's a lot of different, uh, different ways people raise chickens. Uh, I don't know everything there is to know about raising chickens. Uh, I know what works for me, and I know what doesn't. Uh, I like free ranging, uh, which is one of the reasons I, I chose the Freedom Ranger uh, over the Cornish Cross. Uh, I'll try to put the pictures here and here of, uh, of those two birds so you can kind of see what they look like. Um, some of the reasons I chose the Cornish, uh, the uh, Free Ranger uh, over Freedom Ranger over the uh, Cornish Cross is uh, is the fact that it is a true free-range chicken. Uh, it doesn't just sit here and eat all day uh, and uh, and waller in the dirt and it's it's poop and everything else. Uh, it can be out uh, roaming around just like these chickens will be out roaming around uh, eating bugs, uh, eating grass, and enjoying life. Uh, the Cornish, Cornish Cross uh, is, a, is a super efficient bird as far as meat birds go. Uh, it grows extremely fast, uh, but the problems with growing extremely fast is, is sometimes uh, it grows so fast that its internal organs uh, can't keep up with its size. So you have a chicken that has uh, inherent uh, health problems 
uh, like liver problems, like uh, heart problems. Uh, they can't take the heat. Uh, so this heat we're having this summer would be a big issue uh, with those guys. Um, so the mortality rate of a Cornish cross is really high. Uh, they're, they're inexpensive birds. They're quick to market. Uh, about eight weeks, eight to 10 weeks, uh, usually to have a really nice sized bird. Uh, whereas the uh, Freedom Ranger is about 12 weeks, uh, and, uh, but to have a, a market size ready bird. Uh, the breast meat on the Freedom Ranger is not quite as big and full as, as the uh, Cornish Cross is. But again, uh, you, you, you also have to uh, uh, take into consideration uh, how many you're gonna lose in the process uh, and the health issues of the bird uh, at, the, at, the end of the, at the end of the day. Well, that's about all the time I have to, to discuss chickens today. Uh, I've got to get ready to go to work and get things taken uh, get things taken care of for the rest of the day. Uh, one thing I did want to share with you, I'll have uh, this this Saturday will be uh, the Golden Delicious apples and uh, a Gala apples. Uh, these are really very tasty, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of glad to uh, to be able to share them uh, with everybody this weekend. Uh, hopefully, I'll have quite a bit. Uh, so come by and see us early and, and get some apples. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday at the market in Keller, the Keller Farmer's Market, that is. Uh, I'll have some apples. I'll have some eggs. Uh, until then, uh, have a safe week. Uh, make happy memories. And we'll see you Saturday at the Keller Market.